Hello. Dropping into a cave may not sound like a bright way to spend your leisure time, but as Chuck Roberts reports, more folks seem to be going down into the darkness to see what's up. It's a long hike up the mountainside in eastern Alabama. But once you're up, it's time to go down into Never Sink, a vertical cave more than 160 feet deep. This is repelling. The dictionary calls it a descent by a mountain climber. But to these cavers, as they're called, it's much more. We can go in caves where nobody has ever been before and discover quite some beautiful stuff. Here's how it works. A rope is rigged around a tree and thrown into a pit. Then the cavers begin their descent. Some of their equipment includes a harness, rappel seat, rappel rack, and a helmet. They descend into areas of raw nature never seen by the average hiker. There's over 100 species of ferns that live around the entrance. Some of them are real rare. They're not found anywhere else except in sinkholes and where there's moisture and a lot of water. To some, rappelling is a source of relaxation. I feel exhausted, but I feel relaxed emotionally because it is a stress release for me. For others, it's an adventure. I think it's the Lewis and Clark in us. Or even a means of family bonding. I feel like people don't work with their kids enough. And, and, you know, parents ought to be with their kids more than everything, I feel like. I hate coming up there. It's going to be hot. To cavers, conservation and preservation are a priority. Our motto is take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. Newcomers learn this motto while they're shown the ropes by members of organizations such as the National Speleological Society. And they can show up, uh, meet the cavers, make some friends, find someone to take them caving safely, you know, to watch after them, be sure they have the proper gear. Smokey Caldwell knows the importance of proper caving gear. He owns a company that manufactures and distributes caving rope. All of his employees have repelled, some even using rope made with their own hands. Caving is more than just a sport for Caldwell. He's been repelling for more than 20 years. I still have that thrill uh, that I had in the beginning by seeing the people I take, the newcomers. You know, you can relate to the way they feel. And when, when they start uh, over a lip, you remember when you first did that. Now, that I feel a lot more home in cave. It's almost like a religion to me. Chuck Roberts, CNN reporting. Obviously, this is not something you just try on your own. Repellers urge newcomers to get professional instruction. Many get advice from the National Speleological Society. The NSS has more than 200 chapters across the U.S. For more information, call 205-852-1300 or write to the Society at Cave Avenue, Huntsville, Alabama, 35810.